So this video is a short introduction to application development using Drupal, uh, using Drupal 7 in this case. Uh, this is my simple demonstration application. My name is Andy Inman. You can find me at netgenius.co.uk. Uh, this, uh, this simple demo application is uh, mostly built with off-the-shelf Drupal components, Drupal itself and Drupal components. Uh, I'm just going to cover that. How, what, what, uh, what have we used to, to put this together? Okay, well, Drupal itself plus the bootstrap uh, theme for Drupal. So bootstrap theme page here on on drupal.org uh, that gives us uh, mostly the layout that we have here and, and the colors that they're coming from uh, an option on that uh, on that on that theme uh, we're also using views that's a very standard part of Drupal and we're using something called the entity construction kit to uh, easily allow me to create a custom entity data structure for my uh, simple little demo application. The application itself is a travel planner. Uh, each line on this display is a, a trip with a, a name, um, dates when it starts, therefore calculating the, the time that I got left, uh, a, d a destination. If I click this uh, view, this uh, eye icon, if I actually click it, <coughs> okay, if I click that I get a, a pop-up window that's showing me a Google map as to as to where I'm going. If I click another one, the window will update to show me that trip. So that one's in London. This one is in Paris. Uh, this one, I don't know, Manchester, UK. I'm from the UK. I'm from London, so I, I use the UK a lot in the examples. But that one down there, Salvador, Brazil. And so the Google map is coming from Google, of course, uh, again, via a, uh, an available Drupal module called uh, Google, simple Google Maps. It's available on drupal.org. OK, so simple application using some off the shelf available building blocks, plus some extra uh, functionality code via my own custom module. Uh, I'm going to explain what that part is doing. Um, so the nice part here is that uh, I can, everything is working by Ajax. That means it updates uh, without a full page refresh. I can search for a trip. For example, if I put birthday or indeed just a few letters into there, the list updates, that search is applied to the list and, and the list uh, is refreshed to show me the results of my search. If I put UK in destination, the same thing happens. Uh, I get only those trips which are within the UK. That's all standard functionality from views. The pop-up calendar that's available here is coming from Drupal's date module. So I can choose a date by clicking on the calendar. It's not going to change anything if I chose um, maybe maybe the beginning of December. I will see only, only things starting December, 1st of December or later. So that's all... Um, that's all off the shelf so far. The um, the other module that's important here is something called Simple Dialog, and the Simple Dialog module there it, there it is on Drupal.org. The Simple Dialog module is providing me with the basis of these pop-up windows or pop-up dialogues. Um, however, uh, the out of the box module would not do uh, what I'm doing here because it allows me to not only view but also edit these trips. So that's not coming from the Drupal, from the simple dialogue module. That's coming from my own code. Uh, if I change the name uh, demonstration application to another demonstration application, when I click the update button, I haven't done it yet, but when I click the update button, the list here will update and the, the new title will be displayed there at the top. So I'll click it now takes a split second to update. Um, so what I've got is sort of live editing. I can make any other changes here. Um, change these notes. Change these notes for the entry. And after updating, 
if I float the mouse over there, I can see the new notes. These are more notes. The um, popover, that's called, that's a, a bootstrap component. The popover, the, the notes information is displayed in a popover. So that's standard functionality coming from Bootstrap and the Bootstrap theme for Drupal. Okay, what I'm going to do now is um, just disable for a moment my, uh, my custom functionality so that we can see what would happen by, by default. That's to say, if I were only using uh, the simple dialog module on its own without my extra code, what would happen? Well, firstly, let's refresh the screen. The icon sizes have changed because my module contains some uh, some CSS, which was making the icons bigger and doing a few other layout changes. So now if I click the edit form, the edit form appears. It looks a bit different, but there's the edit form as before. At the bottom, it's got a save it's got a save button. But when I click this save button, it would update the record and make any changes. However, um, the page has switched to the view page for this particular entity. That's, that's not what I want because that's not as user friendly as being able to uh, make the edits straight into, straight into this main page. Uh, the same goes for add. Let's add a new trip. As quickly as I can. Let's just put UK in there. We'll leave the dates default and we won't put in any notes. Save. And again, it's going to change to the view page for that new item, that new entity that I've just added. Um, and you might also notice that these pop ups are now modal. That is to say, these links over here are now dead because this window is uh, is preventing me effectively from from clicking down here so i'll now re-enable my custom module again do another refresh and we get the extra functionality back so this is much nicer i think the way this works because for example adding a new trip move that over there um, if i wanted to if i needed to add a number of um, a number of items that were similar. I, I'll leave the notes blank. Click the Add Trip button, and the new trip appears on the list there. In fact, um, I can click the Add button again. Let's just put New Trip Two. Click the Add button again, and that one appears as well. Click it again. Make it New Trip Three. Click it again, and a further one appears. The dates, uh, uh, the the display order is dependent on the dates only uh, down to a particular day. It doesn't currently record time, so that's why the, the order depends on nothing other than the dates over here. So um, the functionality I've got is, I think, a much nicer uh, user interface. Let's delete some trips now. Let's suppose I wanted to delete all of these. They're all junk, really. So I want to delete that one. I hit the delete button, and it disappears. The delete button has gone because I now need to select another trip to delete. Then it comes back. Delete that one. Let's delete that one. And maybe that one. Go into edit mode on here. Click a update. It updates, but I could make further changes. Maybe change the dates to um, the 13th. I could use the calendar. 13th, 16th of February. Update trip. Uh, we didn't see it, but um, on the Ubuntu event that one those dates have now changed so i think that's much uh, much nicer way of working making these kinds of uh, additions and edits and deleting items in this simple demo application than standard than standard off the shelf drupal which would have taken me to a, a full page switch every time so quick quick summary um this little demo app has been built with the bootstrap theme the entity construction kit actually i don't really need that part i could have just used standard drupal nodes um, 
for doing this, but we used a custom entity built with the entity construction kit. Simple dialogue to provide the basis of these pop-up windows, pop-up dialogues, and then uh, my extra code to provide the Ajax-based um, editing of, of items on, on this page. Um, that part of the system is currently not in a format which I could uh, offer up as a, as a general purpose module but I do plan to uh, to do further work on it try to uh, uh, make it more general purpose and probably put it up on, on drupal.org for for the benefit of uh, other people if anybody in the meantime would like um, to know a bit more about that please please contact me via my site um, and uh, I'll, I'll try and help you okay that's it for now uh, simple application, web application development under Drupal with some uh, extra Ajax magic. That's the end of the video.